I started working on the script when I was still at the film school, Film Academy in Baden-Württemberg, and I wanted to make it my master film, which it didn't become, but I had a lot of time to work on the script and to develop this story. I spent several weeks in a group home, then in a psychiatric hospital for children. I had a lot of support from wonderful experts, and I think I conducted 60 or 80 individual interviews. But then when you do all this research, at some point, you can liberate yourself again. You start out, you think, okay, this is the way a group home has to look. But then after the third or fifth time, you realize, oh, no, this looks different, a different architecture, different atmosphere. And then you get to a situation where you know, okay, I've seen so much that I have a certain freedom because it's not all the same. And that's what I needed the research for. And of course, all of the characters are inspired by people I met, but it's never imitated. Uh, one day, six years ago, while I was making another documentary film in Stuttgart, we were in a home for uh, homeless women, and one day this 40-year-old girl moved in. And I was really shocked because I thought, what is this 40-year-old girl doing here in this really sad place where people normally come when so many other options have failed? And a social worker said, oh, yeah, she's a system crasher. On the 14th birthday, they are allowed and I thought, what? System crasher? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, this year term. So I became curious and I wanted to know more. And I noticed that there was a mix between what I was interested in and what was socially relevant. So that's how it started. So that's a real term. People use that, do they? The term is being used, but it's not an official term. It's an unofficial use, and it's very controversial because it doesn't really describe what we're talking about because nothing is wrong with the children themselves. And they don't crash a system that is functional. But as a matter of fact, there are processes in the system that has failed, leading to a situation where a young person cannot stay in one place, but keeps being shifted and moved and transferred all the time. And this creates this maelstrom of places and that creates its own dynamic. Okay, so how did I identify with that? I read the script together with my mom and we read it always in the evening. We talked about what could be wrong with the child. Why does, does she feel that way? What happens? within her, and then together with Nora, we prepared. I went to the castings of for, for Albrecht, so for the other cast. And I discussed everything with Nora. We talked about how the child would feel so that I knew what I was supposed to look like. Should I be more aggressive or sad? I think we just talked a lot, and that helped me. For me, I think it was a gift, and it was one of the reasons why I really wanted to be in that film. There's this immediacy. It starts on the first impulse, the first breath you take, and following your impulses is something that you don't only try to do as a human being, but also as an actor like me. And the older you get, the, the more you lose that sense of just following your impulse. And with Helena, it was like a primeval way of doing things. You feel like playing? We do it. We don't feel like playing? So we don't. So really simple, not so intellectualized. And I like throwing myself into these roles, and I take it all home with me. This gave me this...